Weather from where you live. So we eventually turn cloudy tomorrow morning, tomorrow midday, and then really from midday onward through the afternoon and a part of the evening, there will be a little wave of some scattered showers and a couple thunderstorms that will come through. It's going to be a windy day tomorrow. We're 63 at noon, then we drop a little bit because it's going to rain some, and then eventually we're going to hit highs of 64 to 69 later in the evening once the rain stops and the warm front goes northward after kind of a cool start tomorrow at 42. So these will be the highs by like 9 o'clock tomorrow evening once the rain is up here and the warm front is north of our area, about 64 to 69. On Saturday, again, the warm front's way north of us. A wave of some scattered showers and storms are possible in the morning. Then it's a break where the sun is out. It's warm, it's humid, it's windy. It feels a little bit like summer. And then a couple storms or a few storms will be possible towards the evening hours. And even though there may not be very many storms, there's enough shear and enough instability. Any storm that develops later on Saturday would have that isolated severe weather risk. Highs upper 70s to low 80s. Look at that, 81 at Attica. Near 80 at Flora, pushing 80 at Delphi will be up to 82 at Covington. So for us, I really think uh, even though we may end up with a marginal risk on Saturday, uh, we'll probably have a marginal to maybe slight risk Sunday night into early Monday morning. But overall, the bigger slight to enhanced risk or three, uh, two to three out of five on the scale is west of us. This is Friday through Sunday night. You can see from Illinois all the way back to Colorado, all the way down to Texas, there, there will probably be about four or five events or outbreaks of severe weather in this zone during that period. And we only get little tastes of them with the marginal to slight risk. The slight enhance will be out in the plain. So let's break this down a little further. First of all, the high clouds slowly thickening up tonight. We become cloudy with time tomorrow as the warm front moves northward. After midday tomorrow through the afternoon and into tomorrow evening, this little wave of showers and a couple storms goes through. By 9, zips out of here. It's warm. It's clear most of the night or, or, or dry most of the night, but towards sunrise, another little wave of scattered showers and storms comes through Saturday morning. Then the sun's out, we're fine, and then a couple storms may pop and impact us later Saturday. This is around 6, 7 o'clock Saturday evening. Be aware of maybe a marginal risk, maybe isolated severe weather risk out of any one of these storms that form. Then the storms move northward and we're dry on Sunday. So you can see how that marginal risk kind of flirts with us on Saturday. And then we'll get into the marginal to slight risk uh, Sunday night and early on Monday morning. But once again, we're going to get a decent amount of rainfall Friday through Sunday, anywhere from a half an inch to more than an inch and a half from south to north over the viewing area. So to summarize everything, there's your 84 Sunday. There's the 81 on Saturday. It's a little bit cooler on Monday after any storm on Monday morning. Then it's dry Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're in the 80s Wednesday and Thursday. We may get some more storms on Friday with some severe weather risk, but then it cools off. As a matter of fact, next weekend we may only have highs around 60 to the mid 60s.